I'm Sam and this is Amazing Travels. Hey guys, welcome back. I am coming to you now from the Paris Airbnb. And let me tell you, this place is sick. But before I got here, as you all know, I was in Berlin, which was really nice. I got to see friends and family that I hadn't really been able to see since the pandemic or really spent a lot of time with since then. One of the highlights was Dita was there, which you will see, and I got to show her around. So it was like really seeing the city again through someone else's eyes. That's, that's really awesome. So very cool. And now, as I mentioned, I'm in Paris, the city of love, the city of lights, many names, many names, and it deserves it. I haven't been here since 2019 when I was working for the Women's World Cup. So I've kind of already, thankfully, I've been lucky enough to kind of already see most of the major sites. So what I'm getting to do now is really just take a step back and enjoy Paris for walking along the beautiful roads and avenues and really just taking my time at at lunch at the cafes like a real Parisian, like a real French lady because I don't have that rush, rush, rush of having to see everything. So it's actually been really cool to kind of just be like, okay, yeah, I guess this lunch is gonna take three and a half hours. That's fine, that's fine. Don't gotta worry about it. So that's been a really cool part about being in Paris right now. You guys need to see what I was up to this week. Here is the week in review. First order of business, hanging out with Jacques, Anna, and Fabi. It was a 74 degree day in October. What? What do you have to say to the people? Peace and love. Wow, oh so nice. God. What about you, Anna? Weltfrieden. Weltfrieden. <laughs> oh no, I don't want to. <laughs> Everything is said. <laughs> you, you guys are like gonna run for Miss America pageant, all of you. <laughs> It's a beautiful day out. We're gonna go check out the garden here. <laughs> Why it's dead? It's only a little dead because the pump for the garden is broken and like it happens to everyone. Jacques, you're a millionaire. Jacques and Anna, look. <clears throat> One million marks. What are you doing here with me, cool people? <laughs> <laughs> this is some really old money that Jacques' dad used to collect and now he has it. It's really, really cool. And real money. <laughs> <laughs> The good stuff. <laughs> it's a reunion, y'all. <laughs> Ten years in. Ten years. We did it. It is, though. Ten years. Ten years, ten beers. No, we're just kidding. We're only, like, round four. Bryn's a friend from way back when I did the PPP CBYX program, and here we are, meeting up. Oh. Where I thought a bullet was going off, but really, <laughs> it was a cherry bomb. It's what we do here in the hood. <laughs> <laughs> Not what we do in the hood. How we do it. It's how we do it. And we will never stop. <laughs> how do you feel about uh, being gone from Berlin and coming back after 10 years, Sam Montero? It feels different, I'm not going to lie. It feels a little more crowded. There's more people here. I see like cranes everywhere, a lot of buildings. And like, it just feels like more people have arrived. Maybe it's just that more people missed you the whole time. <laughs> I missed people. I missed three dollar beer. <laughs> now we get to wait for the bus in the middle of the week for a long time. I'm waiting on the train platform for the bus to make sure I don't freeze outside. <laughs> also, I had this fantastic burger in the middle of the night, but unfortunately, it shows Look who's in Berlin! <laughs> I'm so happy it I'm so shows. <laughs> yeah. Dita in Berlin for a mere 10 hours. Let's give her a tour of the whole city. We start with the Reichstag. These three little girls asked us to do an interview in English for their school project. And they said, "What? Do you, these are the girls right there. Boom. <laughs> and they were like, what's one of the, what's the cool thing about your country? Dita, what the heck did you say? Yeah, you're Yankees. What a fool. The falling leaves look nice. Yes, look at this. The guy with the horse head, a little weird. A little weird, yeah. <laughs> Crushing it. No, no. Next stop, the Brandenburg Gate, constructed between 1788 and 1791. It's been a site for major historical events. We could take a picture with this, actually. You can? Okay. Yeah. Oh, shit. My bad. It's, 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 drop it. My bad. It's still recording. 
Very close to the Brandenburg Gate, we have the Holocaust Memorial, which is there to recognize Jewish victims who were killed during World War II. It's really cool to walk through and very heartfelt. Now, Tita's having a donor. Mm. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Yeah, baby. The world clock at Alexanderplatz displays the current time in 148 major cities, and this is the TV tower which Tita didn't care for. And then I was like, hey, Tita, <laughs> let's get closer, and she just goes, nah. Where's those? At 1,207 feet, it's Germany's tallest structure. And here we have the Rotes Rathaus, the town hall of Berlin. The name comes from the color, red. This is Marienkirche, one of the two oldest churches in Berlin, dating back to the 13th century. Ah, shit, I'm taking a video again. No, you didn't. <laughs> Are you kidding me right now? <laughs> the Berliner Dome, or cathedral, built from 1894 to 1905, is the largest evangelical church in Germany. Let's go inside, shall we? And better yet, although it's beautiful, let's climb the steps to get all the way to the top. They say it's vigorous, 267 steps. But I think we can. I No, I know I can. I don't hang with no weekies. <laughs> let's go. Still 180 to go. It's really not that bad, guys. She's being dramatic. Really? Yeah, there's like grandmas doing it. <laughs> Even older steps. Okay, so it wasn't like super easy, but totally doable. Proud of you, Tita. Nice job. Plus, you get this view as your reward, a 360 view of Berlin. I mean, wouldn't you climb those 267 steps? You know you would. Totally worth it. Tita wants boozy boat ride. We get boozy boat ride. <laughs> if you're in Berlin, you might as well do this. You get real cool views from the river to the buildings of the city. And there are so many companies that do it. Just hop on. Tita had to see the East Side Gallery, the largest surviving section of the Berlin Wall, which has been painted by artists from around the world. It was pretty cool. It always is when you're there. Very surreal. <laughs> Touch the Berlin Wall, just like John Bon Jovi did. Oh God! Many, many, oh right, we're cutting ago. the video now. Cut the video. <laughs> the Oberbaum Brücke, which links Friedrichshain with Kreuzberg, formerly divided by the Berlin Wall. We have Tita fangirling over the John F. Kennedy plaque here at Rathaus Schöneberg. My goal was to get us to the top of the tower, which apparently was closed. Found a way to get around the locked door. What? We're going. Oh, this one's locked. What about right next door? Right there. I like how you think. <laughs> now that one looks real sketchy. That one looks like an alarm will go off. <laughs> Would have been pretty cool from up there, but it's pretty cool from out there too, isn't it? We have officially made it to our next destination. One reality of traveling so long is you have to do your laundry. Here's a washer dryer combo machine. Don't know how to use that. I don't know if that's a good sound. All aboard! <laughs> So we'll dry clothes on the rack, and this is to save space, this cool pulley system. I don't... I think it's stuck. All aboard? All aboard the train that uh, got stuck? Yeah. Didn't you break it? Came, it? it came down just fine. Oh, good job. The pulley seems to be out of sorts, and none of us can reach, so... We'll be back after this commercial break. <laughs> there is its cup. It's not stuck. It's just, it's just out of the loop. Like out of the. <laughs> I'm getting your handiwork on camera. I finish, I swear. <laughs> Thankfully, Alex figured it out. Our view is so bad. I think you should just call and complain. This is where we're at. Alex had this butter cheese ravioli, which was fantastic. And this was my beef tartare. I'm addicted. Just look how happy it makes me. Look at him pretending he's fancy. I can't. Do you, do you guys see that smirk? I'm sorry. Do you see that smirk? Sorry. Sorry, I can pronounce French words. 
The restaurant specializes in souffle, so that's what we had to. Mm. It smells like something I know, like, oh, yeah. it's like a quiche, it smells like a quiche, but better. <laughs> After the beef tatar, this is like, right here, this is it. And now for our dessert souffle. The table is on fire. The waiter wasn't worried. This is the Grand Marnier, and this is the chocolate. Mm -hmm. The Tuileries Garden gives you a great view of Place de la Concorde, and this is Museum L'Orangerie, which one thing people go for, the thing, is Monet's water lilies. His very final work, and honestly, standing in there was kind of surreal because not only did he paint these in the last like 15 years of his life, but he also curated how they should live in that room. So it's almost like the artist was there, was present. It was very, very cool. It looks sketchy, but these are actually water fountains in Paris. You can just fill up your water and drink it. Everyone might look at you like I'm gonna get diarrhea, but I'm not. Fresh. We're peeping the Arc de Triomphe right back there, and now I'm gonna try to order a beer in French. Alex is like, no. Du sens. De. You see? I just order, unfortunately, in English. Just default to. I lost all my French. Did you do I kind of forgot how this works. They must be eaten when here. I struggled a little bit, but then I got it. It tastes like a. Pesto gummy worm. It's very yummy. And most importantly, don't forget the snail juice. It is just saucy and juicy. And here is another beef tartare. The one I had at Le Recamia the day before was the best I've ever had, so have that. And this is a little Café Gourmand, which is espresso with a variation of all the desserts offered by a restaurant. Right now we're at Place Diana, which commemorates Princess Diana. This is the tunnel where she actually died, so people put things there to kind of honor her and honor her life. This is the bridge of Alexander III, which is along the Sienne, the most decorated bridge. Currently in the sixth arrondissement, a lot of cafes, shops, chocolatiers, bakeries, I mean, you name it. So adorable to walk down. We're in this fancy supermarket, and let's see what kind of worldly products we find. America, we are safe. Ranch. Found the juice, juice, the juice. Fancy in our pajamas? I'm not wearing pajamas, bro. Okay, but you're wearing slides, so. Slides and champagne? Okay, tell us more. Anyway, it's the wine region in France, and if your champagne doesn't come from Champagne, France, guess Is what? Is it the wine or the champagne region? It's the champagne region. Why did you say wine region? I did not. Did I? Well, it's on camera. We'll be able to rewind. <laughs> I hate it when he's right, but he was right. And uh, this took me a little while, but eventually we popped the bottle. Would really like some champagne oh. right now. <laughs> okay. Woo! Champagne, homemade charcuterie board, and a view of the Eiffel Tower. That's all you need. This is bread de praline, which is a praline sweet bread. You need to eat this if you're in France. Alex is going to try it for the first time. Let's see what he thinks about it. Zoom in on the finger going like this. <laughs> exactly, it's okay, Bevis, you don't need words. <laughs> Not sure I've shown you guys the Eiffel Tower yet, so here it is. Also, our Airbnb has an elevator, but it is sus on the mechanics. I we can't stand shoulder to shoulder. <laughs> Excuse me, miss? Yeah? How Cuban are you? Well. Well, it's almost as big as you. It's bigger than your head. The Notre Dame, which, as you guys know, is still being repaired after the very destructive fire, but people go and see it, and it's still a sight to see. Then we went to my favorite restaurant in the world, Le Fegalon. Let's go. It's me. Business card? Three years ago, bro. We began with French onion soup, duh. It's snail time again, baby. And ended with duck confit, also delicious. We were meant to eat at Le Fegalon tonight because I don't know. I don't know if our sh chef BB will will survive it. His Asian flu, so. You almost cried when I told him that? Good thing this pretty building kind of mended my broken heart.
If my adventures are very fun and interesting, please hit that subscribe button, like, share with your friends, because why not? Everybody likes to see a little travel fun. And well, I'll see you guys next week from guess where? Somewhere totally different. See ya. All right. Done? I recorded it. Oh, I'm still recording. <laughs>